What's up everyone, my name is Zach and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing one of my most anticipated releases of the year, which I've had several of those this year. Um, but one I'm very, very excited is Evocation by S.T. Gibson. Now, I'm going to take this little slip cover off because it like shines really strangely in the light. And also, look at this. As like a, oh, I guess the silver is kind of going to do the same thing. It has like a red ribbon, it has these fancy cute little end pages so i was actually fortunate enough for this book to be sent to me from angry robot so they actually sent me this copy of the book which was so exciting um in exchange for my reviews so that's what i'm going to do in today's video i also got access to the audio and so i'm going to give you guys some information about the audio copy as well if you haven't already subscribed to my channel it helps me out a ton it helps me get early books for review to review for you guys um and also a like on the video goes a long way and i would love to know in the comments please tell me your thoughts about st gibson and her books because i have a lot to say about this book that has relation to her other books which are very very popular um i'm gonna put my copy down for this video and just put a copy on the screen because of the way that the light goes off this book. And as you can see, we're already having a, a light and a dark moment in the background. We don't need, we don't need any more, anything else messing with the light for this video. So I'll just put a copy on the screen for you all. Okay, so this is gonna be a spoiler for your review. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys the tea about S.T. Gibson's next book. Before we get into evocation, I just want to say that I loved A Dowry of Blood but I really, really loved An Education in Malice. I've reviewed both of those books on my channel, spoiler free, if you wanna check those out, I'll link them down in the description box below. Um, when I review an author's newest book, I like to talk about how I felt about the author's previous books because I think it's important for context of reviewing the current release. So, An Education in Malice is one of my favorite books of the year so far. I loved that book. Most people did not like it as much as me, um, and I really liked A Dowry of Blood, but for some reason, An Education in Malice really stood out to me above all the others so going into evocation that is kind of my feelings about st gibson's work now one thing i want to say about evocation is that if you liked a dower blood or if you liked an education in malice don't assume that you're going to get any of those things from this book one of the sentences that i wrote in my review is that evocation is for people who love st gibson and want to get to know her as an author in another light because this is not like anything else that she has ever written and so if you're going in with the expectation of getting more of a dowry of blood or even an education in malice you're not going to get that from this book so please know that going into it and i think that's going to be where some people get let down is they're expecting similar elements of those two books and they are not going to be in this book. So go into this with a blank slate and wanting to know more about S.T. Gibson as an author. She's one of my favorite authors, so I was really, really excited. Basic premise of the story is we have three main characters. Um, oh, remembering their names is going to be a thing. Um, we have David, who is sort of like the main main character, and he has kind of been possessed by a spirit and he needs help from an, all, an old friend named Reese and Reese's wife's name, oh, what is her name? Oh boy, Mora. Yeah, Mora. So we have David, Reese, and Mora. They're like kind of the three main characters. I would say they're all three main characters because we get their, all three of their perspectives. Here's the thing. The basic plot of this is that David has been possessed. Um, David and Reese belong to like a secret society of like occult members and people who do supernatural and spiritual things. It's like an underground men's secret society. It's very cool. If you like secret societies, that element was really cool. We could have used a little bit more of it, but that element was very cool. And this is going to be a series, so we'll probably get to know more of the people in the secret society in later books, I imagine. But the basic premise is that this team of people, Mora, Reese, and David, are trying to save David from this evil spirit that is making it difficult for him to do his job. So Moira reads tarot cards. She also is very good at just reading people and being in tune with them and their like their spiritual makeup. Um, and yeah, so, and then Reese doesn't actually have any magical abilities, but he knows a lot about the occult. He was trained and raised in it. He is like book smart, he loves books. And that is like a big part of his part of the team. So there's a lot of really complicated dynamics between these three characters. Reese and David dated in high school and they had a pretty, or sorry, in college, and they had a pretty tumultuous relationship. At the beginning of the book, they hate each other. Um, and Mora is very defensive of her husband, Reese, and doesn't want them to start talking again. But David really needs Reese's help. And so that kind of brings them together for the main purpose of the book. Now, the plot, this is not a plot heavy book. The plot is sort of the thing that groups the characters together. But the main thing that this book is about is about forgiveness, long time love, 
um, what it means to be human, what it means to be in love with different, various different kinds of people and various different kinds of love. Um, this is not a plot heavy book. It's mostly about the dynamics between the three characters and it's very human. This book is very human and that's something that I really loved about it. Uh, but some people might find it a little bit too slow because there isn't a lot going on with the plot like at all. Um, I wrote it's about family and belonging, identity and complicated relationships. It's about so much. Uh, those are some of the things that I wrote in my review. Um, it also reminds me of a Livy Blake's book. So if you like a Livy Blake's uh, One for My Enemy or um, I don't know about the Atlas 6. Atlas 6 has a little bit more of a plot from what I know about it. Um, but particularly One for My Enemy, I think that you could like Evocation. This book was definitely written for a different um, set of audiences though. Overall, I gave this book 4.5 stars. The 0.5 is just that there were some points that I felt like it was a little bit too slow. I felt like we kind of lost our direction in the plot. I just wish there were a little bit more plot and I don't mind character heavy books, but this definitely could have used more interworkings of the plot. Um, I wrote, if it was a little bit more adventurous, it could have been a five star for me or even a new favorite. That's just a personal preference. I will continue the series. It's a book that I would love to read again. So I think because of the way it was crafted and informed, it could have been more adventurous. There could have been more scenes of them fighting the occult and things like that, but it's mostly about the past and the present present relationship dynamics between these three characters and that aspect was done really really well it was done really gentle and with a lot of care we zoom into a lot of really small moments and kind of break those down so if you like literary i also wrote this is could be for people that like cozy fantasy because it, it at times can be pretty cozy and it can be pretty literary so if you are looking for like a more literary fantasy um it also is like an urban fantasy so it takes place in, in our world with a lot of our same rules so if you're looking to dip your toes into fantasy this could be a good intro for you um the world building was okay i mean again it's it's basically our our world so there's not like yeah there wasn't any super big villain or anything like that i would say uh yeah so mostly i really enjoyed this book it was a little bit not what i expected uh but i would say the shining light again was looking at these very human relationships and the small moments and the things that bring people together the things that we do in our past and how we kind of regret those and want to make amends for them in our future it's just a very humbling book and if you're looking for something like that i definitely think this is not something that you want to miss um, and also the audio is a really good way to take it in. The audio was really good. Um, I felt like it was really engaging. The narrator, it, it's only one individual, but they do a really good job bringing back, bringing out a lot of different voices that feel very authentic, um, and natural throughout the story. So I would say that the audio is a good way to take it in if you've been wondering about that as well. And also, I mean, this is a beautiful specimen of a, of a book. So get yourself a physical copy of it. You know, it's, it's beautiful beautiful inside and out truly like I know you probably just cringe because I said that but it truly is a beautiful book inside and out okay so that's my review for evocation I'm glad to finally get this out to you guys thank you so much to angry robot for giving me a physical copy to put on my shelves because it is a beautiful book um 4.5 stars I love st gibson there's going to be a prequel coming out to this I believe and other st gibson news coming out in the future as she has an erotic a uh, book coming out in 2025. S.T. Gibson does a really good job writing trans and queer characters as well. So that's something I really love about her books. She does it with a lot of grace and authenticity, and I really appreciate that. So that's another little tidbit um, of her books. Okay, I'm going to go now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.